Good morning and welcome to the Morning Coffee with Jean Plassat. Today I'm focusing about a subject we already discussed two weeks ago, but that is becoming a recurring theme, the new tension between China and the US. At the end of last week, Donald Trump's threat to reignite the US-China trade war over coronavirus has triggered another sell-off in global financial market as the economic cost of the pandemic continues to mount. The US president claims he has seen evidence showing the virus originated in a Chinese laboratory. A report suggested the White House is crafting renewed import tariffs that will be applied to Chinese import in retaliation in a major escalation of the trade standoff. A renewed US-China trade conflict as the world head for the worst economic uh, recession since the Great Depression in 1930 could inflict additional damage for jobs and growth, of course. As a reminder, the most affected US industry due to the trade war are the technology uh, industry with chips maker such as Nvidia, Micron Technology and Intel, the automotive industry such as Tesla, which has not yet any manufacture in China. The agriculture industry could also be hit hard in the US with 9.3 billion worth of agriculture product being exported to China in, 20, in 2018. The 2019 trade war has led to an increase in farm bankruptcy and has had a knock-on effect on companies such as Deers and Caterpillar, which manufacture equipment used by farmers. Finally, the US shell gas could also suffer uh, as China is a main market as well as natural gas. China and the United States have everything to lose from a trade war. But it is not the US that is the least well off, since only 11 to 12 percent is linked to export compared to the 30 to 40 percent for Europe. US, as you know, US economic growth is more self sustaining. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Stay safe. Keep on winning and read my morning.